Hey peeps, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today I am so excited because I'm going on a road trip vacation in two weeks to Palm Springs. Prepare to be sick of me. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Prepare to be sick of me. Prepare right now to be sick of me. I'm gonna be road tripping from Utah all the way to Palm Springs, which is about an 11 hour drive. So I'm gonna go from Utah to Vegas for a night to Palm Springs. And of course, I'm the type of person that wants to blow all my money before the vacation. So today I thought I would take you thrifting with me for some vacation looks, vacation outfits, vacation pieces. I know not everybody is this way, but I'm sure some of you can relate. When you go on vacation, you wanna look cute, you wanna look special. Obviously the weather is gonna be very hot. It's gonna be over at least 90 degrees degrees in both Vegas and Palm Springs so we're definitely gonna be dressing for some hot hot weather. I'm gonna be staying in two really cute colorful hotels so I wanted to take some inspiration from the hotels I'm gonna be staying at and kind of thrift and dress up outfits from there. So I'm gonna be staying at the Flamingo in Vegas which I know isn't like the nicest hotel but I am kind of inspired by like you know that section they have out in the front just like the pink and orange glittery light up thing so i want to be thrifting some hot pink looks some tropical maybe flamingo vibe things i'm going to be staying at the saguaro in palm springs they are a super colorful rainbow themed hotel and it's like total neon colors and so i want to take inspiration from that and kind of just like thrift pieces that fit that color scheme i would love to find some cute hot pink slip dresses or any kind of slip dress really, like a really cute colorful slip dress. I also wanna find like cute funky patterned dresses. So essentially we're gonna go thrifting for desert vacation looks, but colorful. Before we head out to the thrift store though, of course, make sure you're subscribed if you're not subscribed already. I post new videos every Thursday. So I'm about to head out to the thrift store, but first a quick word from today's sponsor, Parade. Today's video is sponsored by Parade and I'm so excited because I've been wearing following purchasing from parade for pretty much ever since they launched i'm sure none of you pay attention or follow me that closely but if you really think about it you've never really seen me wear bike shorts until i discovered the parade lush rib bike short they're literally the only bike short i've ever loved and ever worn consistently because i don't know about you but like when i wear the spandexy ones even if it's the correct size it just never feels comfortable it's always rolling down and i have a couple different colors and pairs here today so I wanted to show you how easy they are to style, how comfortable they are, and how cute. So let's get styling. So these are the Lush Rib bike shorts in the color Lilac Freeze. In all the bike shorts, I wear a size 2XL. The go-to styling, I think for most of us with bike shorts, is just throwing on kind of like a cute oversized tee and then having your bike short underneath. So why not do something cute and colorful like this? Literally, like how perfect does that match? I'm obsessed. These are the same bike shorts, the Lush Rib, in the color black cherry. I kept it with the same t-shirt because it literally just, again, matches so perfectly. They also make this style of bike short. These are in their silky mesh. So they're a little more sheer. So these are in the color pink canyon. If your thighs rub together, you know exactly what I mean. I always, always, always get chafing. And so these are great for what the girls call chub rub. And last but definitely not least here are the Lush Rib bike shorts in the color eight ball. These are my favorite. These were the first pair I had and I wear these on a weekly basis. I know bike shorts are typically associated with summertime, but they can definitely work for fall. Um, as the meme goes, like it's time for the uniform, you know, the one with Princess Diana. Obviously this is perfect for like the transition between summer and fall. Any oversized sweatshirt would go with these. And then of course you have to throw on the gold jewelry. You just have to. Obviously I'm obsessed with these bike shorts because they're so freaking comfortable, so versatile, so easy to style and come in so many different colors. But the thing I love about Parade is they not only make a great product, but they are a really good company. So all of their pieces are made with sustainable and recycled fabrics. They are size inclusive and they currently are planning on expanding their sizes next year. They're a carbon neutral brand. And thankfully Parade has given me a discount code to share with you guys. So if you want to snag some bike shorts or anything else on their website, you can use the code Haley's Hall to get 20% off, not just on the bike shorts, 
but anything else on their website. They also have body suits, t-shirts, loungewear, underwear. So there really is kind of like something for everybody. And especially if you're into comfy clothes, they definitely have something for you. So I will leave Parade linked in the description box. Just thank you once again to Parade for sponsoring today's video. And now back to the video and to the thrifting. All right, friends, I wasn't sure which thrift store to go to. So I decided to come to Savers first because this Savers has a lot of like high end trendy pieces. This is where I found the Gucci sandals a couple weeks ago. This is where I found the platform pink jelly sandals I'm wearing today. But I thought I'd start here and then maybe we can hop over to some other thrift stores depending on how this goes. This Savers is good for like trendy pieces and the Goodwill down the street is good for like good vintage and they have a pretty good plus size selection usually. So I guess let's head in and check for some vacation looks. I'm really, really manifesting polka dots right now. So let's just head inside. If you watch my channel a lot, I'm sure you can guess which section I'm in. Of course, the dresses. I haven't really seen anything promising yet, but I'm definitely gonna check the slips um, and pajama section right after this. <laughs> Sorry, the lighting in here is always so weird. Um, uh, but yeah, let's look through the dresses. This would be super cute if it was my thing, but it is so cute. It's like a just a Target Wild Fable dress, like super cute tennis vibes, but make it fashion. I actually really like this, but it's not my style or my size, so we're gonna leave it here. Definitely the vibe we're going for. I have a lot of similar pieces, so I'm gonna leave this one here. If it was a jumpsuit, which I kind of thought it was at first, I probably would have snagged it. Just too similar to everything I have, but I do love a good colorful floral watercolor print not my size but definitely the color themes we're going for i don't even really like this dress either but if we could find something in that color scheme maybe even a similar print would be super good i just found this hot pink torrid dress it's definitely a good midi length which i like and i like the color and i guess i could dress it up but i'm kind of looking for something a little more funky like patterned Definitely not a bad option, but one like pitfall I find myself in a lot at the thrift store is getting basic pieces like this a lot, which is not a bad thing. Obviously basics are basic for a reason, like they're good to rewear. And you could definitely dress this up. It's just like, I like more standout pieces I've noticed. So as much as I love it and it does really, really fit the vibe, I hope I don't regret it keeping it here. I just want to find like the pop in pieces, you know? This is like a really cool vintage silky bandana dress. It was in the plus size section, but I think it's really small. I wish I could try it on because I can't quite tell like what's going on because this would be a really cool, unique slip bandana dress. It's not quite the colors I'm looking for, but it's still really cool. Okay, dresses kind of flopped, which I expected. So let's look in the pajamas and slip dress section, a section that rarely lets me down. So let's pray that today it doesn't. Just found these real silk Victoria's Secret pajama set. If this was my size, I'd totally be snagging it because it's these really cute like silky pajama pants with a ruffle at the bottom. So I think you could get away with styling these as like real pants and then it comes with this really cute top. Like imagine that as like a little vacation outfit, but too small for me so we're gonna leave it here, but that's some good inspiration maybe like a fun silky pajama set could look cute okay dress section was sadly disappointing but i'm still hopeful i think i'm gonna check the accessories and shoes and then probably just leave because i don't really care for skirts very much right now i have so many skirts and i just don't find myself wearing them as much but i might just check like one or two more sections and then we'll just head over to goodwill and see if we have better luck there flop Flop Tina Flop Bestie. Flop Tina Bestie. <laughs> okay, Savers was a bust. I ended up just leaving and not getting anything, which, what's the word I'm looking for? Um... Let's start normalizing and being okay with leaving the thrift store with nothing. So unfortunately, Savers doesn't have a dressing room, which I guess is fine because we didn't find anything anyway, but Goodwill has a dressing room. So we're gonna go there. I'm gonna try to try a bunch of things on. A few moments later. This slip dress is a little too small for me. It's a medium and I'm an XL-ish. Um, but look at how perfect that would have been, all the colors. And it's also super cute because it has a ruffle at the bottom. So I'm really sad that this wasn't in my size, but it gives me hope because that's like literally the exact color scheme I'm looking for, like magenta, lime, all that good stuff. So let's hope we can find something similar just different dresses don't fail me now this is a super cute like painted colorful option but it's kind of short and kind of flimsy so i'm gonna leave it but definitely 
the vibes we're going for. I even like the shape. It's just, I don't know, something about it is just not quite for me. Okay, I just found this super cute, colorful wicker bag. This actually is like the perfect color scheme um, for what I'm going for, but I just thrifted a wicker bag a couple weeks ago and I have been loving it. And as much as I love this one, like, I don't know, it is kind of convenient to be a shoulder bag, but I love the other one I have more. And like, yeah, this is a good, cute accessory and it totally, totally fits the vibe, but I think I'll reach for my other one more. So there's really no need for me to get this. So I'm sad to say it, but I'm gonna leave this here even though it's super cute. Also found these fun glasses. I don't know if they really suit me, but I like them. Like, in theory, I like them. They're super scratched but you can't really tell they're scratched when you're wearing them. I'm like trying to look in the viewfinder to see if I like how they look on me, let's see. They're super, super scratched. I don't know if you can see that, but I do love that they have that design there. And I'm kind of like trying to get more into glasses and start wearing them more as an accessory, but I don't know. They seem a little rough, so actually I think I'm gonna leave them here. I've got a cute hot orange belt here could be fun it's super stretchy too so and adjustable I think we might need this this is actually really cool this actually matches my orange wicker bag perfectly and like obviously a lot of what I own so I'm definitely getting that it looks like there's a yellow one as well no I'm not obsessed with that yellow it's coming up like cuter on camera than it is it's kind of like an ugly mustard this is like a beautiful hot red orange which okay we're getting that just found tucked away this really pretty 80s hot pink shoulder bag it's a want and not a need which i guess all of this is technically wants but i typically like my bags to be a little bit bigger than this because i have so much stuff but I don't know it would be really cute but i'm trying really hard like i just did a closet decluttering um if you can't tell so i'm trying to be very very picky about what i get and think about what i already have and how much wear i'll get so i definitely would wear this and it is really cute but it's like do i need it okay we made it out of goodwill with just a two dollar belt which i'm not mad at at all i've been needing more belts and this is like the perfect color so i guess goodwill was a bust but maybe that just means we saved the best for last so I'm gonna head over to DI. So third time's a charm, save the best for last. Hopefully let's head over to DI and see if we can't find one or two more pieces. Okay, I just found this dress and it totally would have been perfect. It's like a really cute handmade pink pastel dress with a tropical like, what do you call that? Palm tree print. Um, but I can tell it just wouldn't fit. I wanted to take it to the dressing room but like, you know, visually you can kind of tell what would fit and what wouldn't. So this is too small, but oh my gosh, if this had been my size, dream find, perfect find, like throw a belt on that, some cute accessories, and that would be adorable. I love that shade of pink. Um, and yeah, super cute find, just not quite my size. Just found this really pretty tool dress. It doesn't really fit the vision, um, but sometimes it fits the vibe, even if, even if it's not what we were originally going for. I'm not sure if it's my size because the tag's cut out, but it's looking promising. So I'm gonna try it on because that's really pretty. And I also found this really cool crochet, like super long cardigan. Um, crochet is super popular right now. I love the color. I don't know if I'd get it, but I'm like, you know what? It's at least worth trying on. So we'll try both of those on. Anyway, so... Alright friends, today was a little bit of a thrift fail, but at the same time I don't want to say that because one, there were tons of amazing pieces at the thrift store. Some of them just weren't in my size or some I already had something similar or some I just, it wasn't what I was looking for, but I knew like, oh, that's a great high quality piece. Um, but I wanted to like still obviously make the video and talk about it. So I think because of like Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, uh, obviously people see other people thrift 
and then they think, oh, that person found like an amazing haul. I'm gonna go to the thrift store and find an, an amazing haul just like that. If you follow my channel, you probably know that that's not how it works, but I did wanna talk about it just in case anyone's watching. Um, thrifting doesn't always go the way you want. Obviously, that's the name of the game. I found a lot of good things that I could have picked up, but I ended up just coming out with this belt because this is what I liked, this is what I needed, and this is what I was looking for. So yes, I could have walked out with so many other great pieces, but this is the only real thing I need in my wardrobe right now. Um, and I'm very excited about it, by the way. It was $1.99. I think it's supposed to be like a men's belt. It's super stretchy, so I don't know if it was supposed to be like an old man belt, but I'm gonna use it as my own belt. I did on the way out pick up a pair of shorts for my husband. So I got him this pair of Hurley shorts. They're like a good navy blue, so they'll match everything. I think they're a size too big for him, um, but I always like, like to err on the side of like go a little bit too big versus a little bit too small but yeah that's pretty much gonna be it for today's video i didn't find the amazing spectacular vacation piece that i was hoping to find but also i wasn't super expecting to find that because if you're looking for a super specific standout piece in your exact size, it's definitely gonna take some time, but it's realistic and I think that's important. And I don't know, I still had fun. Hopefully you had fun watching as well. Huge thank you once again to Parade for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget, you can click the link in the description box and use my code Haley's Hall to get 20% off, not just the bike shorts, but your entire order on Parade. And if you wanna see how I style up my thrift finds, including the hot orange belt and keep up to date with me while I am on vacation, go follow Follow me over on Instagram. The link to that will be in the description box as well as all of my other relevant links as well. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Don't forget to leave a nice comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye!